What's going on, folks? As you can see by the thumbnail, it's your man, Jay. A um, little bit of exhaust leak on the Durango, uh, but, you know, nothing major. I had a, a, I was at the, a true story. So I'm at the exhaust shop that I always go to uh, here locally to get the mid-muffler delete on, on the cars if that's what I want to do. So uh, you remember I, in another video, I took the Durango over there, and I, I think I, I think I should, I got a video up on that, but um, he spotted an exhaust leak from the factory he was like, yo, you got an exhaust leak on the back back here. And I was like, whoa, okay. So I was like, I got to take it back to the dealer. You know what I'm saying? I got to get this, this replaced in the dealer. So um, we all know that when you start cutting on your car, or doing things to your car, you void the factory warranty. So by me deleting the mid mufflers, you know, I voided, I voided that part of the, the car, you know, the warranty exhaust or whatever. Uh, I know this, uh, but I, I didn't anticipate having an exhaust leak on, on any of the new parts on the car. Cause remember this is a 2019 Durango. So, you know, it's, it's brand new. So, um, he, he, he does my mid muffler delete originally. Uh, and then I ended up having an exhaust leak. So I took it back to him again. And, uh, this is my third time going back. This is a great shop, man. No doubt. This, this is a fantastic shop. They, I've done all my mid muffler deletes at this place pretty much. And there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. So, um, it just happened, you know, I guess the wells just came off order. It can, it can happen to anybody. So with that aside, so I finally get a chance to take it to the dealer and obviously they see that I've deleted the mufflers and it was like, you know, we can't cover this. So it's not under warranty. And I told him, I said, I'm not coming here for the front of the vehicle. I'm coming for the back. So long story short, I'm not going to drag it out. They eventually decided to cover because the, the exhaust leak from the factory is at the back near the resonator. And so there's no flange and there's no gasket in between there. So where it's uh, leaking that, so they have to replace the entire rear end of the, with the resonators. And that that's like, it came to like three grand, man. So they covered it. You know what I'm saying? They not they said, we're not going to cover uh, the uh, front of the vehicle, but we'll cover the rear. And I was like, I appreciate it. Bounce. They ordered the parts. I'll be going back down there to get that done soon. But anyway, um, I had an exhaust leak again on the Durango in the center. So I just left the shop and I was like, man, I'm just kind of tired of dealing with this. So I don't, I don't know if I'll be doing any more mid muffler deletes for a while. It's kind of a lesson learned, you know what I'm saying? So Something to consider if you if you, if you do a mid muffler delete on a on a car that has a warranty, uh, especially a brand new car. Obviously, any car that's under factory warranty, anything that you modify, you void the warranty. I hear people say this a lot. You know, it does it void the warranty? Does it void the warranty? And the answer is yes. It definitely voids the warranty when you modify things that are from the factory on the car. So keep that in mind when you decide to modify your vehicle. If it's out of warranty, fine, do what you want to do. But if you're a person who has a warranty, I don't buy extended warranties through the dealer because I plan on modifying the car and they're not going to cover most of the stuff that I take apart anyway. So, uh, yeah, bear that in mind, man. But the Durango is definitely sounding good. It's running good. Uh, I should have the parts for the rear and from the dealer soon. But I just came from the shop, as you can see, and uh, the wells is looking tight. Uh, so it sounds good. No more leaks. He just re-welded everything, man. You know, I don't have to pay for it because I already paid once, but... <clears throat> it is a little bit of a hassle going back and forth for the same thing. Uh, it's a little, a little annoying, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's that's the, the second time I've taken it back. So I got the original work, and this is the second time I've taken it back. So it's only three times over there for this one vehicle. But I'm not deterred. I love the way the vehicle sounds. You know, I know that I voided the warranty uh, by, you know, putting, by, by deleting the um, mid-muffler. <clears throat> and that's just what it is. So it's your man, Jay. Durango's still in the house. Banging real good. I hope you saw the video of the new 2019 wide body scat. Uh, yeah, I pretty much drive the green char charger daily though. So anyways, your man Jay, I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Another vlog. Let's do it.